New research shows that emergency alert systems are even more vulnerable than we previously thought. A while back, we talked about Shodan, which is the search engine for the Internet of Things. That is, all the random devices that are connected to the public Internet and don't show up in Google search results. These are anything from routers to appliances to TV control panels to personal webcams to entire industrial control systems, including utilities like water, lighting, or power plants. The Shodan engine also makes it easy to find systems that have no authentication at all or that have really bad passwords like password. In an interview with us a couple months ago, Shodan founder John Matherly says that he wants to bring bring light to poorly protected systems so administrators can better prepare for possible attacks. But what people are afraid of is that people were able to actually find power plants. I mean, the problem isn't yeah. Shodan, the problem is that people put power plants on the internet without authentication. But understandably, the idea of insecure systems that can affect the public is unsettling to many people. And recently, a study by the security firm IO Active seemed to validate those fears. The study found vulnerabilities in several models of emergency alert system decoders, which are the devices used to interrupt TV broadcasts. One of the issues is a private SSH key that was distributed publicly through images of the firmware. This SSH access includes root privileges, which enables an attacker to take over the entire system. Also validating these concerns, the Department of Homeland Security's CERT Institute issued a report last month calling out two vendors in particular and also suggesting some improvements to help prevent problems. And what kind of chaos could ensue if an attacker gained access to emergency alerts? Well, it's happened before at a TV station in Montana where some pranksters interrupted a broadcast of the Steve Wilco show with this announcement. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. And although nothing catastrophic arose that we know of from the Steve Wilkos interruption, it's not hard to imagine what bad things can happen if the wrong people gain access to systems that affect the general public. What do you think about all this? Do you get paranoid about attacks or is the threat overblown? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to check out today's Soldiers Tech Battlefield. Mark Watson takes a look at what Apple and Google can learn from each other. Just click the link to the left. For TFN, this is Annie.